The breakout value option allows an interesting piece of data to be further explored and broken down into component parts. In this video, we will create a simple breakout to show the top product sold for a specified country. This grid contains the reseller sales amount at country level for the years 2014 to 2015, broken down by quarter. To add our breakout, we right click on a piece of data in the grid, go to the Excel cube menu and then select breakout value. This presents the breakout dialog box, so let's fill it out. We'll place the grid in cell P8 to the right of our grid. This way, if we draw into the grid and it extends further down, it won't overwrite our breakout. We'll pick the product hierarchy. We want to see the top 10. And finally, we'll choose descendant at product level. There is a selection here for tracking the active cell. You'll see what this does once we insert the grid. So let's click OK. And our breakout has been inserted. As I click on different values, the breakout updates dynamically. This is what tracking the active cell does. The breakout is just a basic Excel cube grid and functions in the same way. So if I wanted to edit it, we can simply open up the grid designer in the same way as we would with any other grid. We can do this with right clicking on any of the data going to the Execute menu and clicking Design Grid. Breakouts add another dynamic dimension to your reporting, where you can quickly see how the selected number is split across any other hierarchy.